Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting one of my favorite gore grind releases ever. You can call it death metal, you can call it gore metal, you can call it gore grind, but I'm talking about Dead Infection, Corpses of the Universe EP, thanks to Last Ride Distribution and Haunted Hotel Records for reissuing this fucking classic. Originally intended to be a split with Mortician, it would have been the newest Mortician material since it would have came out in like 2007, 2008. I forget when Reanimated Dead Flesh came out and like the final bloodbath. They came out kind of around the same time period. If I remember correctly, it's been a very long time. But you even get a nice Mortician cover of Blood Craving. But uh, first off, I have to say rest in power to uh, Saijan, uh, who did drums in Dead Infection. Just one of those bands that, you know, as much as I love a chapter of accidents, like, their whole catalog is fucking awesome, but you, you, you folks know I love this type of stuff, and yeah, Corpses of the Universe is one of those EPs I never thought I would own. Like, seriously, I just kind of wrote this off, like, because I was looking at Dead Infection's uh, catalog, and all, all I have is a chapter of Accidents and Corpses of the Universe, both from Last Ride Distribution. So, like, yo, also, just while I'm on the subject, they might be sold out, but they do still have copies of this on vinyl. And I'm talking Discord's Chronic Corpora Infest. And uh, I think he might even have the colored version that I have, that like, uh, it's like black and white splatter, kind of. Because you either got this uh, black vinyl, or like a red and black splatter, or random. So like you would just either get this or the red one. And that wasn't through... Uh, last ride distribution that's just the way corpse gristle did this reissue when it came to the vinyl color variants and I, I like when labels do like you know the random color thing it's kind of cool like it doesn't happen too often but like i have a couple records like uh the first faceless burial full length was like that and i ended up with like one of my favorite color variants when it comes to colored LPs I own but both of my Disgorge LPs are like just super sick colors but here we have nine tracks of just killer fucking gore metal it's great and there's actual lyrics normally Dead Infection doesn't really fuck with lyrics and if you're like wait what I thought Obituary was the only band that didn't have lyrics on that one release, and that's Slowly We Rot. But Slowly We Rot definitely has, I, in my opinion, I always felt like it had lyrics, like, but, I mean, I don't know. Again, I haven't listened to Slowly We Rot in a very long time. I don't own any, any Obituary anymore. Like, I, I legit don't. I gave, uh... Fuck, I had one of those, like, double CDs with uh, Slowly We Rot and uh, Cause of Death, and I gave it to a friend of mine. And I used to have the original Cause of Death cassette. Like, I do have the um, J card hanging up on my wall over there, so... At least I know I owned it. But, like, when it comes to Dead Infection, they're just one of the best. And... If you know me, I love me some carcass clones and stuff, but this goes beyond that. And it takes, it, it's like Jason X, if Jason X didn't suck. 
You know, you're taking something familiar and you're taking it to outer space. And that's what that infection did here with corpses of the universe. And also taking advantage of that, like, late 90s all the way up until, like, I would say early 2010s when it came to the gore-drenched, um... Photoshop cover art. I mean, it's it's sick, but like if you go back and look at you know like a chapter of accidents, I really hope all these tapes don't fall. Of course, but like yeah, gnarly you know real real death and sh ah fuck me. I'll fix that. But you know what I mean, like going from that to you know astronauts floating in space. It looks like it would be a massive departure and sound and everything, but fuck no, this is some of their best material and I'm not fucking fronting at all. I love this stuff. It's just good. Like, it, it's very well written. Like, the song structure feels like they actually sat down and like really took their time here. And I don't know if that's because, you know, it was originally meant to be a split with Mortician and like you want that shit to be fucking dialed. Like I get it completely. But the fact that there's lyrics, like I just think that's so cool. But yeah, sadly we lost uh Saijan pretty recently. Which is a bummer for the whole like gore community and just death metal in general because one of the best drummers when it comes to the genre. I love his blasting and stuff. And if you're one of those people that are like, dude, how can you tell the difference of like drummers? All you gotta do is pay attention to their blast patterns. But still, nobody drums better than uh, Mitch Harris from Napalm Death. The best. Like he go like it's a full body fucking blast beat, and it, it like. It's, I heard stories about, you know, when they went to record, um, uh, Harmony Corruption, that he couldn't, he couldn't play the songs on the drums, and they had to sample his kit, and kind of, you know, make the drum recording that way, but I don't know how true that is, because Mick Harris is definitely, when it comes to grindcore, my, in my personal opinion, like, probably one of the, one of the best drummers ever. But the best grindcore drummer of all time. And if you don't, if you're like, oh, well, he, you know, so-and-so's faster, it's not about that. He, to me, embodies grindcore. Like, if you watch, um, I have it as Napalm Death, the DVD, but I think it's Live Corruption. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, but just type in, like, Napalm Death Live and look for a video with Barney with, like, long hair, or even better, look for the BBC video with Lee Doran on vocals. It's... And you'll see what, what I'm talking about, why I'm saying that he's one of the best grindcore drummers ever. Because his blast beat, wow. It, it, it's, you know, kind of like how you have the Suffo blast, you know? Like, that was something that was created. And anyways, if you like, you know, pretty much gore in space... Corpses of the Universe has you covered. It's this very enjoyable, fucking super, super sick Haunted Hotel Records. I do not know if Last Ride sold out of this or not, but go check it out. I'll put the link in the video description. Anytime you can get some Dead Infection shit, or if you ever see any Dead Infection releases on, like, on a distro hit me up please and we'll figure something out seriously like because 
I really want to, you know, get some more dead infection in my life. And here's the LP. Plain black vinyl. And, uh, very nice. Very nice. But, uh, this record is black. Not. Yeah, I'm gonna quote the first Borat movie, because I didn't see the second one. I heard it was Boof. Let's see if there's any hidden etchings. I don't see any. Just the usual. Oh wait, here's something. Can't read it. Ah, probably doesn't say anything important, but Nine tracks, but uh, technically eight originals and a mortician cover make up Corpses of the Universe. And I'm putting the B-side on for myself because <laughs> I love this fucking release. And yes, it is an EP. It, re it was released in uh, either late 2007 or 2008, I forget off the top of my head, I do know. It was recorded, mixed, and mastered at Bloodline Studio between March and October 2007, so I'm guessing late 2007, early 2008, this would have went into production, but I'm not, I don't know off the top of my head. But uh, all lyrics here are by Saijan, again, rest in power. Uh, all music by Dead Infection, artwork by Hall at uh, Prime Evil, Error Arising. I'm sure these are, are dead, uh, you know, um, website addresses. But, like, when it comes to, like, you know, Polish extreme music, everybody goes to Vader. And, like, Vader's cool and all, you know? And I like, I, I like early Vader. But, like, to me, you know, Dead Infection's the shit. But also, The Polish Ghost from 1994. I multiple times put that record in my checkout and just never pulled the trigger. Next time I have money, that's what I'm getting is that Ghost, the death metal band from Poland. Not, you know, the Papa, Yaron, whatever his name is. Tobias. Tobias. Yeah, I'm I'm going to ruin your gimmick. But your gimmick's been aired a long time ago. And you know what? I do like the first Ghost record. Sounds like Blue Oyster Cult, like, but a little bit heavier. It's actually pretty enjoyable. And, uh... I forget where I was, oh, it was on Hellcast, they were talking about, uh, In Solitude. In Solitude's a band you had to see live. Like, they really, really captured that evil essence of, like, early Merciful Fate with the self-titled. In my personal opinion, like, that's how I viewed it as a fan, like, and especially, like, when they started going down that, like, Bajas Sisters of Mercy route with Sister, I really liked that shit, and, uh, the release before that, like, The Devil in the Flesh and stuff, that was real good, too, but, like, that was more, like, Iron Maiden-y heavy metal at times like it had a lot of that like british new wave of heavy metal going on where the self-titled more felt like you know a love letter to you know bands such as merciful fate and whatnot and like the fact i found out about them through fenris like you know he, he heard their demo and same thing with ghosts like i remember like somebody was like yo uh Check this out. Fenris was like, you know, this is sick. And I, I liked what I heard. But then I also really liked the full length album. But then when I heard the second album, I was like, all right, this fucking sucks. Like, this isn't for me. I'm sorry. I, I feel the same with that, like, Batushka band. Like, I, I, I don't get the, like, I the first album, what I heard, I was like, okay. Like, you know, it's cool. But, like. 
come on. Like, why is there, like, 80 of those bands? I get why, but just listen to Dead Infection and call it a fucking day. Corpses of the Universe, crushing, Polish, death grind. Like, fuck yeah. Gore grind, death grind, death metal. It has everything you want when it comes to gore. And I love this Dead Infection patch that the Spaceman has on. Or the space zombie. Looks like his helmet broke open there though. So his fucking face probably got sucked out into the vacuum of space. But this is a killer fucking record here. And uh, yeah, myspace.com slash haunted hotel records. This might be kind of hard to get. But I'm hoping that uh, Last Ride Distribution has a copy or two left if not i apologize but uh still check this out this is one of those bangers corpses of the universe i know this isn't like as popular as chapter of Ac a chapter of accidents but trust me it's equally as fucking sick heavy and just a killer killer you know piece of polish extreme music history and I have to thank Last Ride Distribution for making this video possible. And sickos like you for watching. Thanks as always, you fucking rule. Hails. Yeah.